After several lean years, the tarnished Kent State University football program appears to be on the way back to respectability. The man responsible for rebuilding the Golden Flashes is 44-year-old Dick Sesniak. The program was obviously down, and there, there needed to be some very strong direction. And, uh, and as we went through the interview process, uh, it was very important to me to find out if uh, the administration was interested in having a, a very successful football program. And in talking with President Schwartz and uh, with uh, Paul Amadio, our athletic director, it was very obvious to me that that's the direction that they wanted to go. And so it was very important at that point in time to put together a good staff and then to give uh, give the people in the area some uh, some uh, waves. You know, we send out some feelers and let them know that uh, Kent State was trying to get back on the map. If anyone knew how proud that map had once been, it was Sesniak. The Flashes won their only Mid-American Conference Championship back in 1972 when Sesniak was an assistant to head coach Don James. Those years, 1971 to 74, produced professional players Jack Lambert, now with the Pittsburgh Steelers, Larry Poole, who went on to play with the Cleveland Browns, Gerald Tinker, who saw brief action with the Atlanta Falcons. Larry Falk, who became Abdul Salam with the New York Jets. And just before that group, Don Nottingham, the human bowling ball, who starred with Baltimore. But times have changed, and Sesniak had to reverse those changes. I think we needed to change some of the cosmetics around Kent State University. And, and so we went into the things that uh, players could see uh, initially. Uh, we changed our weight room uh, completely. We almost doubled the size of that and added an awful lot of equipment. And we've got a long way to go. Uh, quite frankly, I think we've got the best weightlifting facility in, in the Mid-American Conference. And, uh, and again, I say we, we're going to even add to it. So it's going to be even far superior than anything around this area. We changed our locker room uh, to try to uh, make that thing look as uh, as good as it can be. Uh, being with the New York Giants for a little bit, I knew a little bit of what they had. Uh, I'd been around a couple different conferences, and so we added that. So the players could see some very tangible results right away. Actually, we sell education, uh, first and foremost, because I happen to think that Kent State is a very strong school academically, and a, and a player can get a doggone good degree in just about any area here at the university. Uh, then I think we play very, very competitive football. Mid-American Conference football is outstanding, and if, you, if you're in the business as a coach, you know that. Uh, professional teams know that and so you got a great opportunity to play very very early in your career especially when the program's down a little bit like Kent has been if you go within a hundred mile radius of this campus there's some of the most outstanding football players in America and so now the thing that we find that parents like to see their kids play football and then the fact is they don't like to go a long way to see that and so that's another added advantage that we have Kent State University is the best kept secret in northeastern Ohio it is we need to get out Spread the word and let people know that we have an outstanding facility and an outstanding program. All this points to a successful future for Kent State, but Sesniak shies away from setting timetables for success. What I want to see is progress, and I, I see that this year. And as long as we're making progress, then I think everything else will take care of itself. If we set a timetable of so many goals or so many wins this season, or we have to get this done by a certain time, then you have a tendency to get very frustrated. Uh, and, uh, and so we've tried to stay away from that. As long as our football team is improving, and they have improved a great deal this year, and as long as we're making progress, then I'm happy. Now, obviously, what I want is a winning season, and I want to win the Mid-American Conference in all in due course. But, and I I don't want to wait 10 years for that. I'm not I'm too old to wait 10 years. I want to do it a lot sooner than that, but progress is our most important thing.